If you're tired of your ever-increasing GoDaddy bill, you can save a lot of money by transferring your domains to another provider. A domain is a domain no matter where you register it, so if you're fed up with GoDaddy, I'm going to show you how to ditch them and transfer your domains out. Now, if you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you already know that you want to leave GoDaddy, but in case you're on the fence and need to be convinced, I have an entire video on my channel covering why I don't care for GoDaddy. In summary, GoDaddy is majorly overpriced, and they work overtime to to sell you extra stuff you probably don't need. I can't tell you how many comments and messages I get from frustrated GoDaddy customers. They'll tell me they're spending hundreds of dollars per year on their website, and GoDaddy is still trying to get them to upgrade their hosting or add full domain protection. So if you're ready to make the jump, the first step is to identify a registrar you'd like to transfer to. There are many options to choose from, but I would look for a registrar with affordable renewal prices and quality customer service. You'll also want a registrar who doesn't try to endlessly sell you add-ons you don't need. That's the biggest thing that bothers me about GoDaddy. So while you can transfer your domains anywhere, I highly recommend Porkbun. They're my favorite registrar, and they've always ranked very well in my comparisons. Porkbun was kind enough to sponsor this series, and when we came up with the concept, I knew that Porkbun was the perfect registrar to partner with. Their prices are insanely affordable. They've been that way for years, and Porkbun is committed to keeping prices affordable for the long run. In fact, Porkbun Porkbun is offering Crayler Made viewers a dollar off transfers using promo code CMTransfer. They've also got great customer service and they'll never try to sell you stuff you don't need. For example, SSL certificates are free at Porkbun, which GoDaddy charges you $100 a year for. I'll be showing you how to transfer your domains to Porkbun in this video, but even if you choose a different registrar, you can still follow the steps in the GoDaddy dashboard, and the steps at your registrar of choice should be similar. Now, you may have noticed that I mentioned a series. And that's because this is the first of three videos to help you ditch GoDaddy entirely. This video will focus on transferring your domains away, but I'm guessing you probably have web hosting from GoDaddy and possibly email hosting as well. Your web hosting and email hosting will have to be migrated too before you can fully say goodbye to GoDaddy, and that's what I'll cover in future episodes. Before you transfer your domain name, you need to ensure that it's at least 60 days old and that it hasn't been transferred to GoDaddy in the past 60 days. If you aren't sure how old your domain is, the GoDaddy dashboard will let you know if it's not eligible to be transferred. Also, if you're using the GoDaddy website builder, GoDaddy web hosting, or GoDaddy DNS management in general, you'll want to migrate the DNS records to Porkbun before initiating the transfer. This applies to you if you're using GoDaddy's default name servers. If you're using custom name servers, you can go ahead and skip to the next section. If you aren't sure how your DNS is set up, head over to the GoDaddy dashboard and scroll down to the domain in question and click DNS. Go to the Name Servers tab, and if it says Using Default Name Servers, you will need to follow these steps. If not, and you're using custom name servers, you can skip to the next section. Since I'm using the default name servers, I'll start by logging into the Porkbun dashboard. If you don't already have an account, you can create one now. Next, click Add External Domain Name and enter your domain name. Click Submit and Verify, and click OK. And Porkbun is going to give us a TXT record we need to add to GoDaddy to verify the domain. So I'm going to copy the host name and go back to the GoDaddy dashboard and go to the DNS records tab and click Add New Record. This is going to be a TXT record. I'll paste the host name in and I will go copy the value, which is just the answer. I'll paste that in and click Save. And yes, this record should be on bun-verify.itschristiantaylor.com. That's correct. So I'll click Save. OK, the record's been updated. So I'll go back to Porkbun and click Submit and Verify again. OK. Now you can hover over the domain in Porkbun and click DNS. And we need to copy all the DNS records from GoDaddy to Porkbun. So I'll go to the GoDaddy tab. And I'll start with the A record at the top, name is at, and I'll copy the IP address. So we're going to create an A record. Host is the same as name, that's at. Answer is the IP address. I'll click add. Okay, looks good. Next, we can skip the two NS records. So any NS records you see in GoDaddy, don't worry about those. Those are not necessary for your website to continue functioning. So for CNAME, we have www, and the answer is 
it's christiantaylor.com. Okay, so I'll go ahead and copy this. I'm gonna create a C name, host is www, and answer, it's christiantaylor.com. Okay, that looks like it should. Uh, we have another C name with Domain Connect as the name. So let's see here. C name, Domain Connect. The answer is this. And click Add. Okay, we don't need to worry about this SOA record. That's related to the name server records. And we don't need to do this since we're migrating away from GoDaddy. We also don't need to worry about this TXT record to verify Porkbun because, well, we're migrating to Porkbun. So everything looks good here. I've got the A record for my GoDaddy web hosting and the two C name records. Now I can change the name servers of my domain to Porkbun. So when we initiate the transfer and GoDaddy stops managing DNS, it's already managed by Porkbun and there's not gonna be any downtime. Go ahead and scroll up on the DNS page and these are the four name servers that we need to change in GoDaddy. So I'm gonna go back to GoDaddy and I'll scroll up and click name servers and change name servers. I'll use my own name servers. And we need to copy these four name servers into GoDaddy. I'll click save. And don't worry, GoDaddy will say, are you sure you wanna make this change? Yes. It's okay, as long as you've copied all the records, everything should go smoothly. So you can go ahead and click continue. And success, your request is in progress. So it may take a couple hours for the name server changes to take effect, but you should be good to initiate the transfer at this point, and I don't think your website will face any downtime. Now you're ready to get started transferring your domains. Scroll down to domains in the GoDaddy dashboard and click manage all. Here, you can check the box for each domain you want to transfer, or if you want to transfer all of them, check this box here and click Select All, then click Lock, turn Lock Off, and click Continue. After this, you're going to want to give it a minute or two, because if you try to make another change while there's a pending update, it'll often tell you that it can't make that change. So I'm just going to refresh the page. OK, status is active. So let's repeat that process and click Select All. Now you're gonna to go to Domain Privacy and click Change to Off and click Continue. Now we'll need to get authorization codes for each domain to set up the transfer at Porkbun. To do this for every domain, we can export a CSV file containing the domain names and corresponding authorization codes. Go ahead and click Columns and let's uncheck everything. And now check the desired domain names and click More and go to Export as CSV. We want columns in view and we want to include authorization codes and click export domains and then click download. Head over to Porkbun and go to the transfer tab and scroll down and click show bulk entry form. Now I'm gonna to go to my CSV file and I can copy all the domain names and corresponding authorization codes and paste them into the form. And it should be formatted as follows. You should have one domain name per line and then a space and then the authorization code after that. It copied perfectly for me, so I'm going to click Submit and scroll down. And you can choose to have Whois Protection disabled upon transfer. You can also choose to have Auto Renew disabled upon transfer, so you can check these boxes if you'd like. And then click Add Transfers to Cart and OK. Be sure to click Apply Coupon and enter promo code CM Transfer to save a dollar off your order. Now you can click Continue to Billing and complete the order. Once you place the order, you can see the pending transfers under Account, Domain Management, and Manage Transfers. Your domain will automatically be transferred to Porkbun in five to seven days. You can expedite this process by manually approving the transfer request in the GoDaddy dashboard. When you get an email from GoDaddy indicating they've received the transfer request, go to the GoDaddy dashboard and go to Domains, 
Manage all and transfers. Here you can manually approve the transfer request and your domain transfer should be completed within 30 minutes of approval. So that's how you transfer your domains away from GoDaddy. If you have any questions as you work through the transfer process, both Porkbun's support and GoDaddy's support can help you based on where you are in the transfer process. I'm also available to chat in my Discord server. It's free to join and I help out as much as I can. You can also chat with other members of the community as well, so if you need some extra help with the transfer process, you can join at the link below. Now, if you have other products at GoDaddy such as web hosting and email hosting, you'll need to migrate them as well. I made another video covering how to migrate your web hosting that you can check out here.